Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can convert your design file formats to any format that you want. Let it be from Figma to Adobe XD or to Sketch and vice versa and all this for free. Yes, you heard me right. And we all know that there are multiple design tools available in the market and not every designer in the world uses the same tool. So it gets really inconvenient and difficult when we start collaborating with each other. So in today's video, I'm going to introduce you to a new tool called as Pixo, who's also the official sponsor for today's video. And Pixo helps us in working with multiple file formats let it be dot fig dot sketch dot xd and a lot more this means you can work on any design file and export it to any format that you want so before moving on to the actual tutorial let me just introduce you to the tool and the key features that are available and then we'll jump onto the actual tutorial so without any further ado let's jump right onto the screen so first things first, you just got to go to the official website, which is pixo.net and just sign up, which is free. I just signed up using my Gmail account. So I'll just click on try for free. As you can see, I just need to log in because I've already signed up. And this is the dashboard of the application. As you can see, you'll be able to see all your files that you're working on in this area. And here you have two options. One is to start a new file and the other one is to import a file, which can be in any format that I mentioned earlier. And then on the right, you have some other options of importing component library. Then you have your notifications and then your different options you also have a dark mode which is really awesome and then on the left you can see that you can see your drafts on this section and then you have a community tab and as you can see you can basically create a team and you can create projects and multiple files under it so you also have a user guide so let me just create a new file and show you this interface as well so once you create a new file you can see that you can quickly select what frame type you want so as you can see there is iPhone 13 iPhone 8 so I'll just select iPhone 8 and there you go you have the iPhone 8 screen size I can also select it from the right tab as well so once i click on frame uh, you can see that the options are there on this as well the different uh, templates just click on it and it throws a frame with that particular size and then you have different options that is on the left you can see all the layers and the different layers that you have on your canvas right now then components then resources i think this should be your component library and things like that and then on the top you have frames you have options to create different shapes and then you have your pen tool then your text tool and this is basically to connect your design so i can click on this and connect it to the next frame and as you can see once i even if i move this it still stays connected so that's really good and then you have your hand tool and then an option to comment so you can share this with multiple people and they can add comments on the screen and then on the right you also have an option of plugins so right now there are just limited plugins uh, hopefully they'll add more plugins on this and then you have an option to demonstrate it you can share it on the cloud so i can click on share and create a link so that i can share it with my clients and things like that and they can add their comments on it as well so those are the different options you have design handoff and prototype so those are some other features and then let me just go back to figma so here i have a sample file so these are just uh, carousel posts that i create on instagram so if you're not following me on instagram just uh, check out at design extreme and you'll be able to see some cool design resources so this is a file that i use to create those posts so what i'll do is we'll try to uh, save this as a figma file and see how we can export it to sketch and xd so for that i'll just go to the options here and then I'll go to file and click on save local copy. So this will basically save this file as a .fig file on my downloads folder. So I'll just save it here. So just click on save and it's already saved. I can also copy the URL of this and start importing it, but I'll show you the other way. So I'll go back here, I'll click on import file. Then right now I have a Figma file. So I'll click on .fig file import. So as I mentioned, you can also use the URL, but here I'll just use the file import. So this is the .fig file. I'll click on open and right now it's getting uploaded. So there you go, it's already completed. I can just click on complete. And as you can see on the drafts, you can see that particular file that got imported. So I'll just click on this and it opens in the pixel tool itself so as you can see almost everything stays intact except the font part so i guess the font has to be imported the font that i was using but apart from that everything came as it is the images are inside a mask which is also cool and if you can see even the options like the blending mode right so you have the color burn which i applied which is also again intact so as you can see it has done a very pretty good job on importing everything as it is so now let's see how we can export it into different formats so for that i just need to go Go to the file option and you have an export file option and here you can see different formats right so firstly let's export it as a sketch file so i just click on this and it starts exporting it in dot sketch format and there you go it has converted it in the background and downloaded the file here but before i open and show you how it looks i'll also do the export for adobe xd so i'll go to export file and click on xd and there you go again uh, xd file also is converted and, and downloaded so now let's open both of these and see how they perform so firstly i'll go for the sketch file here 
And there you go, the sketch file has opened. And as you can see, it doesn't look exactly the same because certain uh, features are missing on sketch, probably because of the blending options, but that should actually work. So let's see what is the issue here. And if I click on this and select the image, yeah, the blending mode is not applied. So probably this should be color burn. And yes, there you go. So, you know, certain things are missing here, but overall it has done a pretty good job. The masking also is fine here. So the mask option has worked pretty much uh, the rounded corners and everything looks intact. Now let's look at the XD file as well. How that has performed so i'll go back here i'll select the xd file from here and it's opening up there and there you go the xd file has opened up and as you can see it looks almost the same except the font is missing the color burn and all the other things like masking and everything is still intact and that's how you can basically convert your files to multiple formats right so even if it's an xd format just you know for save this file as a local document and then come back to your tool just go back here and then select the second option which is for importing click on it and import whatever file you're working on let it be figma sketch azure xd or even the pixel format itself right so just click on it and upload your file and that's it you'll be able to convert it to whatever format you want so there you go guys that is how you can use this tool to convert your design files to multiple formats so that is all for this video hope you liked it uh, make sure you check out this tool and explore it more as always thanks for watching